One flag comes down. Another goes up. This is Tel Abiyad, a Syrian border town now controlled by Turkey and its proxy fighters, Syrian opposition militias helping to push the Kurds out. 50 kilometers to the south, more flags, these ones representing the Syrian regime and Bashar al-Assad, government forces invited in by a desperate Kurdish leadership, abandoned by the Americans and in search of new protectors. Under the deal, they're expected to move from Manbij in the west all the way to Derik in the east, a town next to the Iraqi border. We're just on the Syrian side of the border right now at the crossing, and what we're seeing is a steady stream of journalists and aid workers heading across the border towards northern Iraq. They know the Syrian army is coming this way, and that this part of northern Syria is about to change hands in terms of control yet again. Today, just south of the border post, 184 Syrian refugees crossed at an unofficial border. They're now in the care of the UNHCR. Spokesman Rashid Hussein says they're preparing for a possible influx. I mean, UNHCR has a, the plan to respond to around 50,000 individuals in case of uh, needed. It's not the first time northern Iraqi Kurds will have hosted their brethren fleeing violence in Syria. Margaret Evans, CBC News, on the Syrian-Iraqi border.